Hi lovers, hi, how are you guys doing? Hilma Daniel here. It has been, it haven't really been a while guys. It, I just took maybe a few days of one, two, three. I have a, a five to, 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 what, an eight to five. I go to work, so I'm not really available just to create content just like that. But I will create content when, you know, um, I have time, mostly during weekends, um, in the evening after work. Then I have something in mind. I can always um, talk to you guys. Um, yeah, I can always talk to you guys. I'm actually on a journey of losing weight. But I've lost weight, guys. I have lost weight. I'm happy with my progress so far. But I am planning to, to do better. I'm actually skipping rope now for the whole of February. I'm on day three now. I'm going for the whole of 29 days in February. So please wish me luck. <laughs> wish me luck, guys. I need it. Um, I was actually listening to Madam Speaker. Um, she had um, a point on... Uh, um baby mama and uh, married women should they be in communication should they be in communication should be them should they be a middleman for a man or should they just be on their own and it's amazing how people brought up different ideas some are like no um, I don't want to be the middleman as a wife. Some is single women are like, why should I be talking to the wife if I didn't make a baby with the wife? I want to speak directly to the person that I made a baby with, you know. It's it's too much admin. Now you are making me speak to your baby mama, to your wife, and then you get divorced, you get another woman, and then I have to speak to that woman again to solve the baby problems. And, 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 um, uh, actually, <laughs> actually, um, sometimes it, it even went off to to a topic of babies that are born in marriages outside marriage, as in to how to deal with that, and um, it actually came to a point where some people are like, no, the child is not even supposed to be introduced in the house because according to some people's um, cultures, the husband have done wrong for um, going to make babies outside the marriage. So he must pay the wife for damage. And some are saying it's not a problem. Some are saying it's not. Some are saying, you know, it, it's quite interesting. And I, I, I thought to myself, I think this is a topic that we should discuss, guys. Um, and I am not even going to combine it. I am going to, if I want, I can combine it, but I don't think it's a good idea. So first of all, um, is it okay for a stepmother? Is it okay for a wife and the, the other mother of the child to co-parent to be a middleman to co-parent uh, rather than a husband co-parenting straight with the baby mama. In all honesty, I will look into life in general and I will look into my experiences of dating. Um, life in general, we will always have people that are like, no, and there are people that are going to be like, yeah, not a problem but I think there are a lot of factors that we need to put into consideration you don't just then wake up and go like okay um, I can co-parent with another lady or I can take the child up to come to me and take care of um, I want to believe that there's, a, there's quite a lot of things there's quite a lot of factors um, that we have to put into consideration. One thing that I've I've picked up is that I've been in relationships where I found men with children and I and I, I wouldn't mind um you know being a very very good stepchild to the child, being there for the child and um being a mother to the child. And this has been mostly in situations whereby when you are in 
in, in a relationship with a man, for example, this man is the one taking care of this child financially, being it um, he's paying for the school fees, he's um, uh, paying for the costs, he's um, spending holidays with the, with the children, or he is the man that is staying with the child. Okay, we have got such fathers who are really, really staying with the children, and it's like you found him with the child and the child have been present. Or the child haven't been present, but that man is like really, really a good father to the child. You get what I mean? You as a, as a woman, you don't even need to lift a hand. You, 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 everything is already okay. Okay? And, and, and in a situation like that, I can really sit and be like, you know what? I don't mind being um, a, step, a stepmother who is really, really there for the child, um, whose father is hands-on, you know, and taking care of the child. You know, and um, in most cases, the, the example that I had of a person that really had a child and I was like, okay, I can step in. This person was um, the, the mother of the child passed on, you know. So you are like, yeah, th there's no dramas involved. There's no ABC. It's like the child is, you know, doesn't have anybody to call mommy. So that is when I'm like, okay, fine, not a problem. In this situation or in situations like that, I am in full force, you know. Um, and the child is with the father's family. The child is not with the mother's family. The child is already used to being with the father's family. And the father have been already um, taking care of the child. You, you get what I mean. Now, in situations like that, I will be like, you know what? Hands on. Bring the child. Okay. There are situations, okay, where the father, we all date for, for different reasons, and men differ, just like women differ, men differ. And then the, 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 there is a person, you are dating somebody who is number one, reckless, who is number two, not really taking care of the children, like that, who you look at the mother of the child, the mother of the child is also not really coming to the table like that, and then you look at the situation and you're like, okay, I see danger here. The child haven't been staying with the father. The father haven't, haven't been taking care of the child. Um, the mother, I don't know what's going on, does not stay with the child. Maybe the child is still with the grandparents. And um, the mother is probably not even taking care of the child like that. Now, this child comes in your life. And these parents are all irresponsible. You can even just look and you're like, okay, I see here what's going on. Trust and believe you are putting yourself in a financial situation whereby you are saying this child comes i will take care of this child trust and believe the father might not be present during those financial we cannot run away from the situation that there are women who are out there taking care of everything in the house because the father is unable to because the father is reckless the father is playing or the father is irresponsible just like that there are situations like that that is life it happens okay now as as as, as a mother are you okay to take up all these responsibilities or are you then sitting back and go like no i'm not putting myself in a financial situation hence this baby or this child is a it's gonna be financial begging to me and it's gonna drag me financially and i might not be able to take care of my kids together with this child because then this child is another child that's gonna be on me fully because the parents are irresponsible or are not uh taking care of the child like that you know you know what i mean and they haven't been taking care of the child like that because the child have been with the grandmother. Why can't the child just continue being with the grandmother? Then they can continue um, taking care of the child like that. You know, you know what I mean? Yeah, there is another situation that you can look into. Um, uh, another situation that you can look into is um, a situation whereby the mother and the father looks like... Uh, they are not emotionally done with what and one another, but they just broke up maybe for reasons that they had problems and they couldn't be together. You know, we all break up because we have problems with our exes. We all have exes and we've broken up because we couldn't carry the relationship to the next level. We all broke up because we can't, maybe we don't get along or maybe we don't um, communicate well or maybe we don't, um, 
there are just problems in a relationship that occurs and it's up to the two of you to say can we survive this or can we not survive this maybe we just didn't survive those uh, relationship um, dramas or problems of the moment you know and you, you but you still love each other but you can be together but you still kind of care for each other or maybe one partner loved the other one while the other person didn't really love the other person like that so you find situations whereby this baby mama um is um they're still flirting in a way man or you find out that hey here here or you guys are cool 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 for a moment and then you just realize later on that ah, these two something is not right here they are giving me we still love each other type of vibes type of situations you know um we are still flirting or we're still sleeping with one another type of situation you know um and then it becomes a problem and it becomes a problem and you're just like you know what i'm not getting myself involved in this whole mess i'm not getting myself involved you people take care of your job you know or um, you find yourself in situations where by the womb you guys are cool the baby mama is okay you guys are co-parenting well the baby mama is respectful we must also put the respect into consideration that some people are just not respectful like that or some people look at you as some sort of competition and you people are not really vibing like that so you're like ah oh, no thank you or you find yourself in situations whereby you know what there are two or three uh, babies involved and um, there are some babies um that families believes they're not theirs you know you, you just go like you know what um uh, that baby's not ours this one is ours and then you find yourself in a situation where you are baby you are wife and there are kids that are put in categories like that where this family does not love or accept the child and this child is accepted and you're like you know what I'm not getting myself involved in this whole drama. All babies are equal. If they're going to come to me, they must come together. If they are not coming together, I'm not going to favor one after the other. So you guys deal with your dramas. Let everybody be at the houses then. If that's the case, you know you know what I mean. Um, so, you know, because then who is more deserving of the love than the other? You know, because in situations where about to get, today we have DNAs, where you find that truly the child is not yours or you feel the child is being accused of being yours, simply just free the child. You get the DNA test, free the child, and the child does not have to be struggling. Then the mother takes up all the fault and the responsibilities and deal with the child at her, at her house because then, um, you know, um, yeah she she lied to the child and she lied to the father of the child and it makes sense that way so what i'm trying to say is that for as we cannot generalize this whole situation we cannot generalize this situation because there will always be different situations things life is not a straight line life is not a straight line or you find out that um the the mother of the child the child is staying with you or the child is at the house but the mother of the child is somehow what or you can see she somehow wants your place as a wife in a way <laughs> i think i've seen i've seen one situation one time whereby <laughs> i don't think i can talk about it but it happens <laughs> whereby the, the the baby mama thinks um thinks it's her husband in a way i don't understand what's happening within that relationship but i was just like okay <laughs> I, I wouldn't put up with this woman if it was me i would tell her crap right now and right then even if it's not my business if she's disturbing me it's it's we are together i would have to clear the air if i need to clear the air but um for as much as I don't believe in, in going on another another woman like that, sometimes some women can be a problem. Some men can be a problem. And then they had a, a situation whereby um, they feel like, yeah, for, 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 um, you know, it's in a situation where a woman, where your man goes and get a child outside. And then they're like, yeah, how, how then do you accept the child or you don't accept the child? And, and some people were like, no, um, some, some, in some, some culture, the child that is made out of wedlock is not supposed to come home you go you keep the child a secret and then maybe you tell the child later you keep your child at your family you don't bring the child this side of the father and the father is supposed to pay the wife for damage and i wish we can inherit this because because it really 
make a whole lot of sense. Um, the damage, the emotional damage that this whole situation just brings to the table. There are some people that are strong enough to say, ah, it happened, I forgive everybody, it's an innocent child, bring the child, let me raise the child. And there are, that's okay, you know. And there are some people that are going to be like, you know what, you are not bringing the child here because the child is made out of wedlock and it's a reminder that you cheated on me. I look at the child, you cheated on me, you know. And those people are also right. For as much as the child is innocent, they say that in the Bible that says you go, you, you suffer because it's, it, we put kids in situations that they're going to suffer because of our parents' sins, you know? Um, let us not put kids in those situations. The debate isn't even supposed to be about whether these kids can be accepted or not. The debate is supposed to be that let us not at all or avoid making these children. Let us not bring children up in that manner because that's not right. It's not right at all, okay? And it's emotionally damaging to all people. Being it the people, the parent that's going to parent this child. Now you are, you are bringing the child to another woman to raise your child for you, and you made a child with somebody's husband while you are away doing what? Me, when I stand here and take my child to somebody's uh, man, to, let me just literally, literally say, when I stand here, and take my baby to some another woman to raise my child for me what am i doing what am i supposed to be doing so am i supposed to be in christmas enjoying life while i'm giving people responsibilities of raising my child why 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 would why would i why would i really do that it, it also doesn't make sense but some people would also look at it to say yeah uh, we are all parents and you also deserve to 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 to, to you know um take care of the child so take care of your child me i'm going to relax also just like any other life just like you are relaxing so I, honestly we look at life um differently and there is a a, a a baby mama that is saying you know what i am not sending my child to anyone's wife and that is so me should i be a baby mama me i'm not sending my child to another person's wife no 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 number one i don't know that person you chose that person because the person is good for you and it's okay for you. But I don't, I know nothing about that person. Literally, you people are going to be strangers in that house and I'm sending my child there. Ah, oh, no. I'm not sending my child to another woman. Um, I'm so sorry, but I'm not. Because the, you, you, it's like I'm, I'm sending my child to a complete stranger. You are not my friend. I don't know you. Chances are very high. We don't like each other. And then now there's this child and... You saw that you go abuse my child. I'm not sending my child there. I'm so sorry. I don't believe in abusing anybody's child. And I don't believe in my child being abused. If I know that I might not trust myself, just keep your child at your house. I do not want to put myself in situations. Um, yeah. So actually what, what we are trying to say is that there are so many ways of um, looking into this whole thing of children's, you know. Um, and, and I also don't understand why do we want to put w other women as middle people in the relationship of two elderly people. When you people got naked and made this child, another woman was not there. How is it another woman's job and the responsibility to be the middleman of two whole adults, adults that can speak to one another and... Uh, and, and, and make their own decisions and take care of the, their problem that they brought into the world, their child. Why, why, why do I, as another woman, should be the middle person between two people, my husband and another woman's child? Why should I be that? Because I, there's, there's no way that I'm going to be waking up every day to, 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 to be like, ah, how are you guys? What do you need? Ah, it's not my response. It's not my, my business. You, my husband is the business and another woman then they can talk together solve their child's problems f find their money wherever they're going to find their money pay for whatever they need to pay it's not even supposed to be a problem on top of my head to say i have a problem because that's really honestly not 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 my problem but another woman might not also look at it like that you might go like okay it's my child it's my child it's your child and sometimes this these kids also on eh? when they grow up when they grow up they can be problematic and then now you have to also deal with that but 
what I would say and what I would try to say is that can we avoid putting kids into situation? Because now it's like we are creating problems. When we are creating problems, we want other people to deal with the problems rather than just looking at the root cause. What, how are we making children? Sometimes let us avoid making children just for the, for the sake of making children because these children are now becoming a lot. You are not married. Don't make a child if you know you are going to get married anyway one day in future. If you are making children like that, make children that you are able to support you, yourself, 100%. So that then you don't have these issues of saying, baby mama, baby, baby father, baby what, what. If it's a father and you know me, I'm not going to get married and I just want my children. Take your children from the baby mamas and stay with them. We do have men that are raising kids. That way it's easier, even if a woman comes in your life, they know there's a child. And it's easier for them to adapt and to love the child because they know the child haven't been a mommy's child, but the child have been a daddy's child. Honestly, there's nothing that is more easier to adapt than a child that have been a daddy's child. A child that have been staying with the father, not with the mother. You come in as a girlfriend, you are like, there is a child here. And you know the child is there. There are children that are far together with their mothers. Now mothers have been taking care of their children. Now all of a sudden you got married. Those children become a burden. They are now on top of you. You now you must be a wife who is now looking old because problems are enough. While they are now taking care of themselves, they don't have problems. You are doing pickups. You are doing what, what? You are doing what, what? You are doing what, what? You are buying food. You are cooking. You are teaching kids how to do. You are teaching kids manners. You know, raising up a child is a lot of work, right? It's quite a lot of work. While other people are relaxing. Really honestly, how I would look it into this, I would say it differs. And in most cases, as a husband, the way you carry yourself, being it the way you carry yourself on a daily basis, the way, the way you carry yourself financially, the way you care, carry yourself as a leader of a home, speaking of leadership, really plays a very big role on how your children are accepted by the people that you are dating. Sometimes, sometimes the baby mama, the way you carry yourself, the way you speak to people, the way you respect people, the way you carry yourself as well, also plays a very big role. And sometimes it has got nothing to do with you. People just don't want responsibilities. And it's your responsibility to take care of your children the best way you have been taking care of you your children. You know, most, in most cases back in the days um, when a woman gives birth to a baby, those babies were never taken to marriages because men didn't want those children. It's like you used to go to, if you're getting married, you leave the child with your grandmother and then you go get married and then you, you, you only have kids of your marriage in a marriage. These external children were never taken across were never taken to marriages by wives. And I think we need to ask ourselves why, if the men's children could always come by, but these children were left behind. Why? Is it because men know what they want? Men know what they want. Men know what they want. That's why you find it that men hardly marry women with kids because they know they don't want kids' problems. They don't want kids. They just want the whole package of the wife coming as clean as it is. Men know what they want. So it's about time also sometimes women know what you want and then you just set your record straight. You are not going to get old in places just because you are carrying responsibilities that are way too huge for you to carry. Know what to put, to put on your plate and what not to put on your plate and eat. So really honestly, it's quite, it's quite a topic and it's, it's a contradictory topic because... Some people, this works for them. Some people, this works for them. Just like for me, kids are innocent. But as parents, let us be responsible for bringing these innocent children up the right way. We cannot sit here and say the Bible was wrong for saying sex is only for married couples. I don't think they were wrong for saying that. It's because they know children comes out of this sex before marriage sex when sex is only for the married couples then nobody go and cheat it, it it's it's avoiding cheating because you know you have to have one partner who you are married to 
and sex is only between the two people. So they are not going to be these children. So these children out of the wedlock were not going to exist should we follow the rule of saying sex is only for the married couple. We, and we won't have these problems. Now because we are not following what the Bible says, we are now having all these problems. And we are not even doing it correctly that if you are doing it, do not bring a child into the world. We are just doing as we please. That's why, hence we are creating all these problems and these problems are putting children into situations which they were not supposed to, to be in. But it's because of us, because we sinned and these are the results of sinning. And here we are. Some are not because they are from the married couples that broke up. But would we not have had um, the cheatings? Because cheating is the reason why most of the people just break up. The, these cheatings, it, chances are very high. Without these too many cheatings, we would have less um, marriages coming to an end. And I cannot also... You know, the fact that marriage just comes to an end for different reasons. It could be that um, the person is abusive um, physically or whatnot or whatnot. But I'm just saying that in most cases, cheating and being irresponsible and so many things. Could we just put ourselves in order? When you're getting married, you know I'm getting married. I know what I'm doing. I'm capable of putting, keeping a home. I'm capable of listening. I'm capable of keeping things in order. I'm capable of... We wouldn't have breakups. I'm capable of loving correctly. I am learning and I'm a learning progress. We wouldn't have uh, breakups. We wouldn't have breakups. And we wouldn't have kids in these situations that we are having right now. Because nobody, I don't think people get married to break up. I don't think anybody gets married to break up. Nobody does. So, um, and also kids that comes, you know, in, in a marriage, really honestly, the topic is, we for you to say the child is innocent the wife is also innocent we can also not say the wife is also innocent we also have situations whereby women are also bringing children in marriages from other men the only challenge is that men uh, women um sorry baby i want to sleep women will give the husband's children i'm telling you that one is easier to, it's difficult for you to say it's not your child, it is my child, but it's my wife, it's my child, unless maybe you do a DNA. But it's, that's your child, that's your wife, and you sleep with her and she's pregnant. For a man, it's evidence because the wife is not going to be pregnant, another woman is going to be pregnant. Life is just, this life no balance. So actually what I'm trying to say is that we cannot sit here and say this is a one size fit all. And, and try to find a one solution to this situation. There's none. Because different scenarios comes with different solutions for different people. For as long as really inside your heart here, you are happy. And also in your pocket financially, you can carry what is on the table. Because you also don't need to suffer. Imagine taking care of 11 children alone or on your pocket while you are not breathing properly while financially you are suffocating doesn't make sense yeah what do you think about this whole situation should do you think wives and baby mama should be middlemen um to the wife to the husband or should the husband and the baby mama just come together and have open discussions where they discuss their um baby mama baby their children's needs at hand and problems at hand without you as a wife getting involved in this whole situation. Me, I think it's much easier when two people that are involved are communicating, they will understand each other, they will um, um, understand each other, they will um, solve their problems accordingly, they will look for solutions to their problems rather than me involved. Because you involve me, I'm still going to go back to the husband and I don't know how I'm going to convey the message and I don't know how the husband is going to read right back to me for me to ah, it's too much admin work i can't it's too much suffering and work to do i don't understand why the two of you can just talk to one another solve your problems there's money that needs to be sent or anything people just say i need money you people send each other money 
chapter closed, me as a wife, I already know that you too should be talking to one another because you have a child. I'm not even supposed to get involved in your business. I'm not even supposed to get involved in your business and say, I'm coming between the two of you. Why is she asking 150? Why is she asking fear $500? Why is she what, what? Nah, it's, it's none of my business. You people must talk and you must make decisions that are okay for the child. The two of you can come together without me getting involved. And yeah, um, from me, Hilma Danielle, that's it on this topic. And it's quite an interesting topic. You guys can now come up with um, uh, extra um, scenarios that you also have um, seen where you go like, okay, in this situation, I would be a middleman. I would not be a middleman or I would be a good stepmother or I'm not going to be a stepmother in this situation. or Because situations differ. Situations that are brought on the table differs, and they are not going to be the same. So, um, and we cannot all solve them um, the same way. It can be the same problem at hand. One person can tackle it like that. Another person can tackle it like that. That is my understanding on this whole thing. What do you guys think? Please do comment down below. Do like the video if it was educational. And, um, yeah, do share. Do subscribe. Please watch the videos. It's very important for you to watch the videos until the end. Okay? So that um, at least we are already over the 1,000 subscribers. So I'm not begging for subscribers like that. Even though, please subscribe still, but not for the minimum uh, part. But for me to get paid, I still need you guys to watch my videos. So please watch my videos and watch them fully. Okay? I love you guys. Have a blessed day. Bye. I'll see you guys in my next video.